Do you have a passion or do you have a passion? I didn't know what my passion was. I do multiple different extracurricular activities, music, dance, art, and a couple more. Despite various different activities, I never felt a great bond or connection with any of these. My father suggested me to try a sport. My immediate answer to that was no, because I was not, never a big founder of sports, and I never really liked them. And so, my brother started taking some advantage and started boasting about his talents and his sport skills. Hasani, I play soccer. Hasani, I play basketball. Hasani, I play hockey. It's really getting on my nerves. Finding a passion unveils your undiscovered passion. Mr. Hans test shared, fellow Toastmasters, and my dearest guest. Today, I'm going to share with you my journey to find my passion. Hockey. Roller hockey. Barge into my world like an unwelcome guest. It wasn't that pleasant experience I was winning at first. In fact, it was quite the opposite. I I was a newcomer who just never worn skate before. Everyone else, well, they were skating professionals and they were very experienced, experienced hockey players, including my bothering brother. This is what gets me the most disturbing part of the entire sadness. My brother, he starts bragging about how well he plays sports. Hasani, guess what? I scored a goal that wasn't a goal. Hasani, I skated faster than you. Hasani, I did this. It's really getting on my nerves. So just to make you see how annoying he is, raise your hand if you met somebody that was annoying. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have a sibling that's annoying. Compared with all of that, that's my brother. <laughs> and so, I, I just felt like I didn't belong in the ring because everyone was so good and my coaches, they never gave me an opportunity to play. I was always waiting for me to embrace my soul out and there and play. But I never had a chance. My first season of hockey ended. It wasn't that pleasant surprise and experience I was waiting for. It was actually quite the opposite. And so, I decided to try harder. Some spirit in me decided me that I wanted to push harder and try and commit to this work. And so I sincerely practiced and tried my best, no matter what. I started giving shots, and gave my best in all. Even though I wasn't the best player, I'm proud that in my first season, I got this entire practice, I tried to cool the adventure, and best of all, I tried to score. After that, after all, I scored my second season of hockey. My second season was so amazing. I had a coach who always stirred me into the right direction. He was like a guiding light who always let me go and gave, gave me a lot of opportunities. Talking about my teammates, they always encouraged me and motivated me. Encouragement and support, support put together helped me a lot and built me up. And so, I never felt such a strong bond with anything in my life. And this hockey, somewhere I never even thought I'd like before, something I never even tried, I don't even know it existed. Brought me up and built me who I was. When I'm out there playing on the ring, when I shoot the puck, I put my all. I embrace my soul. I embrace my spirit and I take up the challenge. I try my best, no matter what. And I even got a couple of goals. And so, one thing I want to know, I want to talk with you all is take up challenges. Even though they may not be the best part, and they may be a little scary and want to back away from them, try taking them up. They may make you discover your passion. Maybe, just maybe, this is what a passion is called. Thank you all, and I hope you have a great day.